Men. I've just had to clean me. I've just had to clean me bloody phone out and everything. That's an that's a good thing as well. Clean all your rubbish out. All from around you. Just like your insides. Now then, as I was setting the camera up, I pulled the rune, which this one is movement. If you didn't get enough movement yesterday, <laughs> it's all about movement. But I told you there was a golden egg, didn't I? And um, as I was choosing the card, and I'm, now I'm just going to leave it because it's... Um, this is the message to me to give to you do you understand it's it's movement in your heart chakra that's what the golden egg is yeah to me so we all interpret things differently and divination right is just a true channeler will will be very conscious of what the saying to you yeah we don't want to lead you down wrong paths and everything we're all quite capable of doing that ourselves but mostly most majority of people who channel by whatever means um cards are just one of it what they what they're doing is they're trying to give you um they're trying to give you messages that you you're not you can't quite get yourself they've done the journey they're doing the journey. It's a constant journey. You never stop, right? You're in, on this journey whether you want it or not. It, it's happening to you. That's what life is. It's a, it's a learning curve. But what what people... We've got to material, haven't we, basically? So we're going back to the heart, right? There's movement in your heart chakra. Whether you want to... Oh, I've just had deja vu. I've done this before. I've been here right now before. I like a dream. Mm. Right. Okay. So, the golden egg. It's in its nest. This golden egg, your heart, it's Willy Wonka's golden ticket. Right? Everything that you want is inside. Okay? So... I just want to do you, I think, for, for now, because th this is like, a, it's personal to you, what is going on, right? You, and you know, you look at this in its nest, protect it, that's what we do. We protect our golden ticket, because we don't like to be vulnerable. Anyway, let's see. Let the cards fall. Do you know what I did? I was getting it all ready. Um, and I thought, and I had me music on. That's what I want to tell you about music. Ugh, I don't, but I'm not yet. Um, and I thought, right, okay. I know I've woke up full of the joys of spring. Full of information that I would like to pass on here. Um, let, the car, let the cards fall where they may. And I dropped the old bloody lot of them. Um, and then and then I went to record this. I've done this recording once. Well, half of it, the beginning of it, and my phone was too full of junk, so I had to clear all that out. And that and that's that's kind of a, a message. Do you understand? That's how you can get your messages by taking notice. Um, and obviously, this movement is in your heart chakra. Something. And I mean, you can get this video whenever you like, right? It doesn't matter. Whenever you see it, it's for you, right? It's, it's move. Your heart chakra is realising something. Um, Yesterday I was saying we were levelling up, don't we? And, and this is where you're levelling up, I think. This is my interpretation, right? You're levelling up and it's all to do with your heart. So... Where are you right now as a collective? It's very hard to do the collective, right? 
it's much easier one on one because you can get that energy but collective energy it does pull you right so can i have a card please where are we at we're at the six of pentacles oh right it's movement again right that this is Whatever's happening with your heart chakra, this is what it's saying to me, is is bringing you the movement on um, and all that is around you, yeah, on all your material things, um, on all your knowledge. Um, and and in this card, well, I have a look because I can see other things sometimes. In if I want to, but you need time. It's, this couple is sharing this pentacle, right? Is this the pentacle that you were hanging on to yesterday? Right. Look. There was there was an idea. This is this is a story. It's going into a story. There, there was a... You had an idea, didn't you? I don't know if you know that yet, what it was. Um, and then there was some... Yesterday, it was like you were holding on to one of these pentacles, right? It was to do with, you know, like your outside world. But it's what it's saying is, it's this... It's your heart chakra this is where you're getting the movement when you get the movement in your heart chakra yeah when you get the movement inside you that's where you get the movement outside of you everything everything is things <laughs> turning up roses you're going yeah you are absolutely coming out of the dark yeah into the light um and, it, and it's signifying this is you're moving away from all the conflict you're moving away from it you're not having none of it no 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 we're not having that the letter m the letter p got apples in the tree You're moving away from something, something tangible. But like I said, it's about your heart chakra. It's about your inside. You're moving something. You've gone. You've you've shifted. You've gone. You've gone. Something's happened, or is happening to you right now, or you've just come out the other side of it, right? Where something inside where you've been deep which was your black egg which we had the other day was all about going deep and when i tried to re read this earlier right but my camera rang out because i had to um the whale come out which was going deep you have done some work of some kind right you've done something because you've got movement in your heart chakra. Don't be worried. Remember the lamb yesterday? The lamb didn't care. She was frolicking away because she has the inner peace. That lamb had inner peace. Do I get a drink of tea? So, what is it then? What's happening? Is it with a person? Is it just in your in your career, in your work? See, because the ones I mean the pentacles, sorry. It is about material things, but it's about knowledge. It's about things that you've planted. Them ideas that we were talking about, 
It's things that you, you know, you could do a reading on just one or two cards, but I know that you want to see more. So, and I know you, and I know that you, you would like it more than anything to be about love for the most part. But at the minute, it's not talking about that. If, which your heart is love, but you've done something or doing something, and something's going on inside you. What's right, you can feel when something's rising up. I tell you what I did want to say um, yesterday, or was it yesterday or the day before? About, you know, when it shocked, when I thought it was a shock that this, when, when the hyena was jealous of you, yeah? Um, and I meant to say that it was a shame, and it is. Any, any conflicts that you have, with anyone or about anything, what you've got to remember is that. Well, I don't know what that is. We'll leave it there for a minute and see what happens. <laughs> see if I turn it over. God knows. I never know what's going to come out of these. You see, I can't guide this. I can only interpret. Um. What was I saying? Right. When. When you are vulnerable like the lamb, don't worry. It's okay to be vulnerable. Um, th this is what... It doesn't matter. If somebody abuses that, they say, that's their problem. You staying true to yourself, aren't you? You can be vulnerable. That's that's your heart chakra opening. You, you're, that's where you're having the movement. Right there, I'm putting it on the egg. That's your movement. It's happening in your heart. And what happens inside comes out, outside of you. This is where the movement is. You will see it. That's how you know, yeah? That's how you know when you've, when you've done some good work <clears throat> upon yourself, right? When you come from a heart, from your heart and you have compassion for somebody um, or people who you know you're on a different wavelength that, or maybe that you grew up, grew apart or because not everybody grows at the same rate. Not everybody's shifting at the same time. Not everybody learns. The, 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 everybody goes, learns different things that they want to learn. So you can move, you know, become distant from people and things like that. And to protect yourself, you, we, we, put, we hide this vulnerability. Um, we, we try to protect our heart as much as we can. Just let it be. It, it, you know, if you were full of the joys of spring, that's it. Don't you be what you are. You have to look after yourself. So, where were we? Six of Pentacles. Whatever's happening in your heart is coming out in, in tangibly that you can see. And you will recognise it. You, something will... What is it? I'm not going to sell it. Nine of Pentacles. It's still, see? It's still Pentacles. But you've jumped from, from whatever you shifted inside, from whatever realisation you've had about something, um, has shifted you outwardly. And you've gone from the six to the nine. That's a good jump. That a nine of pentacles, right? Is is it's like near completion. In fact, you could think that you you're at the finish line, but a nine is just a pause, right? It's just a pause in whatever this cycle is in your in your heart chakra. It's a pause, and it's like look at her. She. I know this is about, it's, it might be knowledge, yeah, um, because it's pentacles, but she is sat there, right, she is, she's just sat, nothing, with nothing on, vulnerable, the house on the hill, that, that's just, you, you may have a feeling, right, and then, uh, you may have a feeling that everything is falling away from you 
when, when you move like this, when you do a big shift, when it feels like things just fall away naturally and you just fall in naturally. We try to we try to force, but we it's pointless. Go with the floor. So you've jumped, right? This movement, this these readings, I've never done them like this before. You know, in a in a oh 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 well you see that. So I've never I wanna say I've never done them like this where it seems like that um everything that I like the other readings, it's like that's coming all into it as well. Um it's amazing. So we have jumped. You're a jumper. Nine. From the six to the nine. You're having a pause. Now then. What's coming? When you move like this. That happens in your, in your pentacles. And this happens. This is the first one. The Emperor, and this is the second one, the Ten of Cups. There you go. Bye. <laughs> um, <coughs> right. The Emperor. Oh, where is he? Where is he, you say? You might have him and you might not even know. Because don't forget, just as much as you, Protect your heart, right? The male does too, you know. You you can think that the you can think that a masculine is that they can take anything. Do you know what I mean? That um, they're strong enough. Um, no, they have a heart. If you're a masculine watching this. It goes for you too. I'm just talking about energy. Yeah. The, the emperor. Mm. Is this happening to... Don't go there. I don't want to do twin flames. It's too long. Right. The emperor is also... This is your side. This is his. It's also happening to him. That's what I'm saying. It's happening to him. And, and it, just remember, if you, on this journey, if you've been in the dark night of the soul, right, you know exactly what that feels like. You, you, it's too long to go into. But you know what it feels like. Now just remember that the, the male has to do that as well. Yeah? The masculine side also has to do that. That's a wrangle for them, you know. Just as much as it was a wrangle for you. Even though it is all about you, whoever you are. It is about you. It's about inside you. But he is moving into his heart chakra. Yeah? Because he's got the ten of cups here. What did I say? This, this one yesterday was telling me twin flames. But it's soulmate, right? But he he is moving that. You are moving. You've done more work, right? You've done more work than, than, the, than the masculine, right? Because now it's showing up in, in your surroundings, do you understand? So you've done more work on your heart. You've gone deeper. You, you, you've become more vulnerable. It doesn't matter if you're vulnerable. That... We all are. Just, it, it, if somebody abuses your vulnerability, that is their problem. Don't let it ruin you. Right, shut up, Elaine. This is for <laughs> entertainment purposes only. But you, this is the, basically the story here. You've done the work. It's coming out in your pentacles. He is do, been doing some work. He's been in the dark night of the soul and he is coming to empress status now right his heart is opening he knows he knows what did i say yesterday i need to drink 
ایناست I don't need no other characters in here, do I? Let's have a look at these ones. I ain't played with these ones much. Here's another one. Ah, there's another one off my son. I'm just gathering cards at the minute. So, we're gonna... All eyes, all eyes on you. <laughs> um, how long we gone? I don't know. I don't care. I've got loads of room now. I've deleted everything. <laughs> but... That's there you go. Do you want to, there? Just there, I've just caught myself. I've deleted everything, right? That's kind of what the work you do. When you go inside, you have to delete all the things it's gonna strip you back um to basics and, and and then you build your foundation back up. This female, she's she's doing this, she is putting in the work and it's showing up on the on the world stage this he i told you yesterday he knows he's seeing through the maelstrom he can he knows his heart is opening he doesn't want to stay where he is he's a knight of wands Ooh. i'm sure this was for it for this side i think now He's, it talks about the knights are like um, <coughs> the the action, right? The knights are all about the act on their whatever ideas that they have about. You, right? They actually act. It's the same message, isn't it? They're actually gonna act on it because they put the work in. They have put a hell of a lot of work in, right? What are you gonna expect from this then? I mean, yesterday it was saying, "Whoa, that's flew out like a bloody." Six of Swords. You've done it. You, you, you. Right. Sixes are, are moving away from conflict, right? This is what I mean about sometimes you can think the cards are not very, don't look good or they look scary or you don't understand what it means, but the, the, the sixes is, is, is moving away from conflict. This is what I was saying here. What you have done. You have done this. This is what this look at the look at all the stuff going on in the card. Look at it all. It's all busy. You've dealt with all that. Which is all different for everybody. We it, it, it's different. <clears throat> the light after the dark. She's done all this. This this feminine has done all of this. He is behind. It's like, do you know, um, oh, this was about, it might, might be a year ago, I don't know, as I was reading up on everything and looking and searching and, um, and it was almost like I came to the realisation that the female, the, the feminine, right, is the one who is leading. She's tally ho! I don't know why that card doesn't come out. I've got a tally ho card. I can't, don't know where it is, but when it comes out, it's. <laughs> but <clears throat> she, the feminine energy is leading the charge, if you know what I mean, in, in all of this, what's going on, in all of this waking up in all of this everything it's the feminine and it's what happens is right when this feminine say it is twin flame say what you like or soulmates right it doesn't matter she's leading the chat she is leading by example right 
and he has no other choice he's he's he has no other choice than to do it yourself because as you do the work in you because you've got masculine and feminine in you as you do the work in you you will recognize you will start to recognize that part of you right and that's going to lead me to um a little exercise for you <laughs> while you sit there with your wine and your music on and you've got your candles on and you've wrote your all and you've wrote all what you want and you've burnt it and you've given it to spirit please could i have told you the other day the feminine was saying to the hyena ask and you will receive she is the feminine is leading the way. She is the she is so strong now after all these eons, right? The feminine aspect is so strong, but you don't want to don't manipulate it. That, that's what happens. Everybody manipulates these energies. Just take it as it is, right? Where are we? These. Candle. Yeah. He is behind you, right? It doesn't matter if it's your partner, it doesn't matter if it's inside you. Somehow you have conquered, right? You've you've moved away from it all, you're not having it. That's how you, should I tell you? Do you know how you know when you've got over something or uh, when 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 your heart is broken, yeah, and when you've got over something, you can you can visit it, right? You can look at it, and it doesn't hurt no more. It won't hurt you no more. You won't feel that crushing pain. It, that's when you know that you've got over something or someone. Um, your feminine's doing the work. He's got no choice. Once you start doing your work inside you, right? And it's showing on the outside, and you're taking notice of your messages. Like I said, this is just this is just a way to get messages across to you. That I mean, that, that the universe wants to give to you. Um, he's got no other choice but than to follow you, because you're bragging in this. <laughs> Let's get a card, because it makes me laugh when I think of it. I mean, if you're actually in a relationship, you'll see how much. That you're, you have dragged them with you, whether they like it or not. And and good for them, because, you know, in the end, they can end up the emperor. It just depends what's gone on in your relationship. Really, ideally, we would all like to meet the emperor or the empress, right? So, he's got no choice. Because of the energies going on in the world and everything now, he hasn't got no choice. Oh, I love that everyone's heart's opening. Yeah. Let's open our hearts, eh? Oh, there you go. Nine of Cups. That's where it ends up. It, because you're still on the journey. Yeah? You're still on the journey. It's near completion, right? It's just uh, like I'm just showing you at the minute what is exactly going on. Um, if you're on my wavelength, or if you're in my vibe, God help you. But this is what this is what we all would like. It's all to do with love, like I said at the beginning. Now then, <clears throat> to get in touch with your heart chakra, right? It. As any everything is energy and everything is vibration. So, what what you what it said music, didn't it? Now then, what I propose because I found this beneficial and it helps and it helps you have compassion as well. You know, um, get your songs that you like, okay, and listen to them. Now, when you listen to a song, and you, it depends what vibe. You choose all different songs, don't you, for different vibes. But when you're um, 
when a song actually touches your heart, when it brings, you can feel, when a song actually touches your soul, you can feel it filling you up. You can get that 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 rush of, of feeling. Sometimes, like, a song can just make you burst out crying because you've act because you've let yourself feel. That's why. I mean, sometimes you think, I'm not going to listen to that song because it, it, it's going to make me cry. You know what I mean? I want I want to dance. I wanna, yes, you do. You want to be like a spring lamb. <laughs> you want to be dancing, right? But what I'm saying is about the song, when you actually sit and listen to a song, right, you, you think to yourself, right, these are the words I'm saying to them. Whoever this person is, or whoever is, um, how can I say, your idea what you think you would like to have in your life. You, you can think, right, this is me singing it to them, right? And then, don't worry, I'm just, I don't care what I'm saying to you. I don't care to be vulnerable. I will tell you everything that I know that I can possibly tell you, which there isn't enough time in the world. But you're doing it. You're absolutely doing it, right? And you, this mask, this is what I'm saying about this masculine. It, it's inside you too. You, you, right. Get yourself grounded, Elaine. Make it simple. You sing. You let the words, you feel the words, right? You've got to let yourself feel. We don't feel. We don't let ourselves we skim over. So if it's a song that's important to you, let yourself feel it, right? And you can feel all the words, all the feelings that you would like to say to this person. Now then, it might be the whole song. It might be just a certain chorus of it that you want to say to somebody that you would, that's how you feel about them or how you feel about love. It doesn't matter. It could be, then what I want you to do, what is good to do, which I've never done before in my life, then do the same song, right? Now, this could freak you out, and this might make you understand exactly what your, what your other half or your masculine side is um, trying to say to you, because then... Listen to the song again, right? You, you want a good one, right? A good one that takes you down there. You need to go way on down. So, and then and, and then think of it as if they are singing it to you, right? And that absolutely, it makes you see. It makes you see. Oh, it makes you see things from their point of view. It makes you feel compassion. It makes you feel forgiveness. It makes you feel guilty. You can sometimes because you can think it's only you that has these feelings. And it's not. Everybody has the same feelings as, as you. Right? Now then. If it's a soulmate, and this is hard to do. <laughs> but it'll freak you out. But... Or just just doing the song that you think is precious to you, what you want to say, what you feel, and then switch it, yeah? Switch it and do it and as if they're singing that to you. you. You get your own things out of that. And then, right, when you get used to doing that, you can try and, and, and sing it and feel it as if you're both doing it together. It will freak you out. But you can do this because you, you're you a pause. You're, you're working on your chakra. There's movement in it. This will move. It's just a tool to open your heart and move it. You, you, you're getting there. He's getting there. You as a whole is getting there. It's fantastic. You're at the nine of cups now. Yeah? You've only got one more to go. To completion of a cycle and and that is in love that is in your heart right and 
then it brings out all the other stuff round. But just try it and see. Thanks for listening. Thank you.